hey guys welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to cover the design of the particle accelerator that you are going to need in order to make the digamma particle and also the design of rbmk reactor that will be used to deplete the digamma fuel rod now digamma is one of the most late game materials in the mod very expensive to produce and the particle accelerator is going to require a ton of power to do it now the rbmk reactor that we are going to use is fairly stable but i highly recommend making this in creative first test the rbmk out and yeah then make it in your survival world so without any further ado let's get straight into this video to make the accelerator you are going to need a total of 2008 shirby dead coils some superconducting coils and also all of the other standard items needed to make the particle accelerator as seen on your screen right now so to start we are going to come up two from the ground and then on the third block place your first dense should be dead coil now convert this coil into a segment by making a 3 by 3 hollow square and in the middle section place down your particle accelerator core component in the following orientation now also in the middle place down your particle accelerator excess terminal so that you don't forget its place and now we want to make this entire section total 65 long with hollow section in the middle like this so I'm going to extend each of this section on the half side by 31 more blocks. So that's 32 on the one side and 32 on the other side with one block in the middle making it total 65 long. So that's 165 long segment of Shirby dead coils. Let's make two more perpendicular to the first one. So for this one, I'm directly going to stack it by 64 more times making it 65 long and now doing the same on the other side so now we have three segments of spheric shirby dead coils which are 65 long in total now for the fourth remaining side it's going to be a bit different so we start by making three segments which are going to be made of superconducting coils so the first three segments are going to be superconducting coils and the rest are going to be the shirby dead coils so here we have three let's do the same on the other side and here we are going to have our analysis chamber that's why we are going to leave three blocks in the middle so once you have placed the three superconducting ones start placing your shirby dead coil and then extend it by 27 more times therefore making it 28 long in total so we have 28 long shirby dead coils on one side and do the same here as well so with this you will have three blocks left in the middle which will be used to make the analysis chamber now to make the analysis chamber take any glass or oh sorry take the analysis chamber glass and then cover up the outer section like this making sure that the internal 3x3 area is left untouched also make a casing so that it looks good and the casing can be made using any plating of your choice so with that done it's now time to cover all of the open areas of our particle accelerator segments in order to do this i'm going to use the black plating I'm going to show you one example here you can do the rest in a similar way i have made a video an entire video on particle accelerators by the way you can also follow it to see how the entire thing is supposed to work so here we have covered one entire section of coils using black colored plating do the same thing for the remaining coils as well and finally we are approaching the end and with this we have covered all of the four segments and are now ready to make the corners of the particle accelerator so make sure that you follow this process slowly the corners are made by covering each and every block between these two segments just leaving the central block intact in order to make a path for the particle to travel slow down this part of the video if you want to and yeah 
make all of the other corners in a similar fashion as well. There are three remaining corners, make them in a similar way and with this a particle accelerator body is done. Now come to the very middle and in the center break out three blocks like this and place your 10 giga HE power plugs in there. You can get away by placing two but placing three is better. On the central one get, get yourself an energy storage block and also connect this energy storage block to the remaining two using cables. Now fill up the energy storage block. I am using the spark energy storage block and set it to output. With this the accelerator power plugs will have power and also the accelerator itself will have 10 million HE in its internal buffer. To make digamma we are going to need particle and also Higgs boson. You can check the crafting recipe in NEI for both of these particles. Place each capsule like this and make sure that your particle is in circular accelerator mode and then start the reaction. After some time and after analyzing the reaction will be successful and you will get digamma if you have made the particle accelerator without making any mistakes. So in this way we get digamma, combine it with balefire fuel rod and that will give you the digamma fuel rod. So that's the particle accelerator done. Now to make the RBMK reactor that is going to deplete this rod, make a 4 by 3 section using ultra dense steam pipes on the four corners, place down your steam converters and then connect on the top using water ducts. So the steam connectors are in middle, water ducts on top and ultra dense steam on the bottom. Four steam channels go in the corners like this and then we have two reflectors and now we are going to place down four absorbers. Now two absorbers go like this. If you want to, you can place three and four in a similar way. But if you want to use irradiation columns, place two of them like this. And then on the outside, make sure to place the neutron absorbers. This is in case that there is no material in the irradiation column so that it can absorb all of the incoming neutrons. Now place two moderated fuel rods like this and the RBMK reactor is done. Finish it up by covering it with RBMK covers and set all of the steam channels to ultra dense steam. Now place down four turbines going in a basically descending order, ultra dense to super dense, dense, super dense to dense, like you know the order. And connect this up. And finally for water, I am going to use a single big ash tank with heavy infinite water in it. It's nearly enough to, or Actually, it is enough to run this entire reactor as it doesn't produce much steam and it uses very less water. So you don't even need to loop it back if you want to. And now in order to run this reactor, the driving fuel rod is going to be the thorium medium enriched uranium, which has an Euler's function and the digamma fuel rod. So the thorium fuel rod goes in the section which has reflectors and the digamma fuel rod goes where there are absorbers and the radiation columns. As soon as you place it, the temperature will start going up and in order to basically produce or use the flux, you can place gold or tritium, sorry, I mean lithium and thorium in the radiation column. Now while we wait for the temperature to stabilize, let's connect the, let's connect all of the turbines with cables and yeah, you are not going to get a lot of power out of this reactor, but it will deplete digamma in a safe way. So we have started producing steam and digamma is being depleted at a pretty fast rate. I still recommend that you build this reactor in creative first, test it out yourself and then once you are satisfied, get back into survival. Now it goes without saying that dropping digamma is a bad bad idea. Be very careful while handling it and if you can, don't keep it in your hot bar. Keep it in your inventory, just not in your hotbar. So yeah, that's that. Otherwise you are going to have a bad day. Losing digamma doesn't feel good, especially in survival. And to remove this, you can use the antimatter cluster, but still it's a waste. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, do smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Peace out guys, stay safe. Thank you.